Hot chocolate. Who would have thought that this drink invented by the Mayans would make its way all over the world? My name is Girish and today we are headed to Paris, France where I will be tasting some of the finest chocolat show the city has to offer. If your idea for hot chocolate is to mix cocoa powder with hot water, then get ready to have your mind blown. So without further ado, let's get started. For our first stop, we visit Les Deux Magots, which is one of the oldest and most famous cafes in Paris. Situated in the Place Saint-Germain, it was frequented by the likes of James Baldwin and Ernest Hemingway. We ordered the Chocolat Viennois or the Viennese hot chocolate, which was presented in a pot on a silver tray along with a thick dollop of whipped cream and a glass of cold water. The drink had a thick, silky smooth texture and tasted a bit like sweetened dark chocolate, which can be mellowed down with a scoop of whipped cream. If you are curious, the website describes how they make the hot chocolate and they even admit adding a bit of egg yolk to thicken the drink. All in all, this hot chocolate has a nice texture, something that is not too sweet and has a luxuriousness that makes it among the finest hot chocolates in Paris. The only downside is that you can't take away the hot chocolate. You will have to find a table at the restaurant to drink this delicious hot chocolate. Our second stop is Café de Flore, which is just across the street. We ordered the Chocolat Viennois, which is presented in the same theatrical fashion as Les Deux Magots. It comes in a pot on a silver tray along with some whipped cream and a glass of cold water, which makes me think that the French take their food presentation very seriously. The drink is less chocolatey and has a satisfying wateriness to it, which may be appealing to those who aren't into a very strong chocolate flavor. Even the whipped cream has a thinner texture. I would say that this is a lighter version of the hot chocolate from Les Deux Magots, which could be perfect if you are not a fan of dark chocolate. Again, keep in mind that you can't take the drink away. You will have to find a table at the cafe to enjoy it. For our third stop, we visit Angelina, which is one of the most famous tea houses in Paris, known for its incredible desserts and pastries. Situated in the heart of Paris, right next to the Jardin des Tuileries, this establishment was created in 1903 and was frequented by some of the most well-known icons in French history, including Coco Chanel and Marcel Proust. I got the signature beverage, which is a hot chocolate, because it is composed of cocoa taken from Niger, Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire. What I like about this place is that you can buy the hot chocolate to take away, which is what you want when you are walking around the beautiful city of Paris. Very good. It's rich, creamy, and I think it's just thick enough to have the smooth, velvety texture. It is sweeter than the other chocolate shows that I've tasted and has a bit of this vanilla taste, so it may not cut it for the intense dark chocolate lovers. But I will admit that this is the best takeaway hot chocolate that I have tasted. For our next stop, we are headed to a place called Grom. If you are a fan of gelato or Italian ice cream, then you should definitely visit this place. Originally founded in Italy, Grom has since expanded to several locations worldwide. The shop is known for its high quality, all natural ingredients and attention to detail in the production of its gelato. And they also make delicious hot chocolate that comes in three different flavors. We took the Janduya flavored hot chocolate that has a rich nutty flavor pairing perfectly with the chocolate. Janduya is a type of chocolate that originated in Turin, Italy 
made with hazelnuts and cocoa. The hazelnut flavor adds a delicious twist to the traditional hot chocolate, making it a perfect treat for any chocolate lover. We topped it off with some whipped cream for that extra touch of indulgence that gave it a creamy, luxurious flavor. It is possible to take away this drink, which is perfect for exploring the beautiful city of Paris. Next stop is a charming cafe located in the 16th arrondissement of Paris called Carrette. Their hot chocolate is served in a charming silver pot, which is enough to fill two of these floral porcelain cups. The taste is dark and lightly sweet, and the drink comes with a side of whipped cream, which adds a light and creamy texture. If you want to have a taste of perfect molten chocolate from a pretty porcelain cup while having a view of the Tour Eiffel, then this is the place to be. The next stop is the Lint Chocolate Shop, which is located near the Opéra Garnier in Paris. Here you can find the assortment of chocolates with a wide range of choices. But they also have a mini cafe with a menu of desserts that you can try. We ordered the chocolate shot that cost just 3 euros. Very thick, very intense. This is for the true chocolate lovers. It feels like a big glob of melted chocolate. And I think it will satisfy your chocolate cravings for days to come. Next, on to our final stop. Hotel Georges V, a luxurious five-star hotel located in the heart of Paris on Avenue Georges V in the 8th arrondissement. We were led to La Galerie, an elegant dining lounge adorned with beautiful 19th century artwork. We decided to try the Parisian breakfast along with the renowned hot chocolate. The hot chocolate comes in a fancy silver port and is served with whipped cream, chocolate beads and marshmallows. And I can confirm that the folks at Georges de Sank have taken the hot chocolate experience to another level. The drink costs 28 euros, which may be the most expensive hot chocolate in Paris. The texture is nothing you'd expect in terms of a normal hot chocolate. This is way thicker. It is so creamy and luxurious. The hot chocolate can be drunk by itself, but when you mix in the whipped cream, chocolate beads and marshmallows, all of which combined really well, the taste is just pure luxury. This is truly an Instagrammable drink and I would prefer to have this as a dessert rather than as a hot chocolate drink. It is very filling and I hit my threshold of how much I could drink very quickly. So there you have it folks, these were the list of my favorite hot chocolates in Paris. Now if I were to pick the greatest, I think it would be a tie between Les Deux Magots, Angelina and Hotel Georges V because all three of them have something very unique to offer. If we did miss any of your favorite spots, please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!